missing out? Hello? Ah, about the delivery dates for the tablets. Oh, you have to postpone by one week. Okay, so let me see. So we said the fourth. Oh, no, I'm sorry, this can't go. I have a red flag popping up in my MS Project file. So we have to find another solution. So thank you very much that you called me. I have really now to look for something else. In Microsoft Project, we have an interesting function that shows when a task goes beyond a deadline. You've seen in red that flag that popped up. This is the signalization that my task or my delay went beyond the deadline. It's Christian from Vision 6D, and this is what we are going to look at, how we build this. I want to thank David Herman on LinkedIn that pulled my attention to that feature. He said, and he wrote to me, that this feature, he uses it on tasks where, for example, if they have a delay, they have a certain penalty. Like that, the red flag pops up, and it shows him where a delay is going to bring some inconveniences into the project. To illustrate this useful function, I have here an extract of the CRM project, which you can follow in different videos. In this project, we are here in front of uh, an exhibition where the sales team will take part. This is the exhibition fair, which is the last task I have here. It's about 10 days where they will meet prospects, they will meet new clients and hopefully have and come back with orders for new kinds of projects or at least meetings for new projects. So for that, uh, we propose to them to be equipped with tablets like that. It's easier during the, the fair. And there is a new module, a new sales module into the CRM. So for this, we need first to order the tablets, to get them and prepare them. And once this is ready, we'll do a demo to the sales team. And after that, they have a training on the sales module. With that, they'll be ready to be real fighters at the fair and be really there with the winner spirit and get all those new projects. So the phone call I got was telling me that the tablet delivery must be postponed by one week. So for this, I go here inside, you see, and I simply change the date. And by one week, it's on the 4th of October. So I click on that and you see that immediately here, I have a red flag while into the GAN chart, nothing really changed apart from the displacement of everything. So now, how did I create this? So you see already here, I have a deadline column. So I will go back to how I was previously without the, the change. So I'm back here with the normal date on the 29th. Everything is cleaned up. So what I do here, it's I have added the deadline column. So I will redo this with you. We insert a column. And among all those choices, we are going to select the deadline. You see here. And this column makes me appear uh, the possibility to insert a deadline date. NA means non-applicable. So on those tasks with NA, there are no specific deadlines. And here you see that for the demo to the sales team, I've set a deadline to the 4th of October. So in that situation, the project is clean, nothing happens. And if now I go back to what I had done with you before, is here to say that this will be delayed by one week and be delivered on the 4th of uh, October here, then you have that action and the flag that comes here in front. 
So imagine now this with a project we you have not just like me an extract but all the tasks involved into the project. It's an easy way to see when you have a change if there are deadlines that you will miss. And once again, what said David Herman is really interesting when you have in your project deadlines assigned or linked to penalties if you are going beyond those deadlines. It's really important in your complex project to know the consequences of a change. Are there any consequences on my deadlines and of course uh, cost-wise on the penalties? So this is a simple way to insert it with the deadline column. There is now another way to insert deadlines. You don't need to, to have the deadline column. For that, you select the task and you go into the information of the task. You can simply double click on the task. Into the advanced part, we go to the constraint on the task section and we see that there is a part entitled deadline. Actually, I haven't any deadline set and I will here now set the deadline to the 4th of October. Do it that way, simple, I say OK. And we see on the diagrams and in the table part, nothing changed, but we are going to check whether our change was as efficient as the one using the um, deliverable column. And I come here on the tablets delivery and I'm postponing them to the 4th of October, as we did with the columns, 4th of October. And you see the diagram in the GAN part has changed and the flag has come up. So although we don't see the deadline column, we really have deadlines set on certain tasks and here specifically on the demo to sales team. All what is left to me is to pick up my phone to find another supplier and to wish you a great day. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, like it. It's a pleasure to meet you again for a new module. Bye-bye.